Today I came at you guys with this super glowy and nice spring look. I did take a break from social media and I'm so so sorry I didn't get to upload last week. But I'm feeling way better now and I wanted to come back and hit you guys with something super easy, super fun for springtime, super colorful, and just honestly this can be like an everyday makeup look. I love it. I basically recreated one of my old, 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 old OG makeup looks and made the better version of it. And yeah, so that's what you guys are going to learn how to achieve today. Do not forget to subscribe down below. I already closed the last giveaway, but now at the beginning of each month, I start a new giveaway. So all you have to do is subscribe to my channel to be automatically entered to all of my giveaways. And without further ado, let's get started. To prime my face, I'm of course gonna use my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I will never use any other primer. Moving on to foundation. Of course, I'm gonna use my Hourglass Stick Foundation. This is in the shade Nude. You guys, if y'all have not tried this, you need to. I use this every single day and it's way better than the Makeup Forever HD stick. To buff that in, I am using the new Sigma 3D HD blender. You guys, this is literally life changing. One, I like to use the butt, I guess that's what you call it, to buff out the foundation. So then when you get to these little edges, you don't have to pinch the beauty blender how you usually would. The edges are perfect for the sides for in between the eyebrows and then what I mostly like about it is I can use the edges to get really close to the top of my eyebrows that way I don't have to conceal the top of them it does that for me next moving on to concealer I'm gonna be using of course my Tarte Shape Tape no other concealer will ever replace this concealer here is why I like to use the edges because it doesn't steal any product away. So I just set the under eye areas and I'm gonna go in with this new Ciate Dewy Stick has not released it but I'm gonna add it down the bridge of my nose on my temples right here and right here not on my cheekbones because I feel like when I add it to my cheekbones and I put highlight over it it kind of mixes with the texture and I don't like that but I used it on the other areas that I usually highlight and I loved how it turned out and then I'm gonna go ahead and set my entire face and I'll be right back not the whole face is set, I'm gonna go in and start bronzing the face with my Coco Contour Kit. I don't think I have ever found any other bronzer that I like instead of this one. I just, I just love it. Not to mention the smell is great. To brighten things up a bit, I'm taking the lightest shade and I'm going to use that to cut my cheekbones, highlight this under area. Now that I'm done with that, I like to jump right into the eyes. My face routine is kind of weird, I know. After I do my eyes, I like to do blush and highlight, lipstick, and all that stuff. I don't know, my face routine is everywhere, but 
let's go ahead and jump right into the eyes so I did one eye off camera already this is what we're gonna learn to achieve today and I am gonna be using my custom palette if you guys want a video on all the shadows my favorite brands all that stuff then definitely give this video a thumbs up that way I know if you guys want it or not so I'm gonna start off with using a fluffy brush to apply chickadee onto the crease and you're really going to want to build this color so we can have that grading effect that we want in every single look. So as you can tell, I'm just buffing the crease color with windshield wiper motions, making sure everything is super buffed out. And always make sure to drag the crease color to the top. That way you can still see it when you add the other colors. We're going to be going in with Morocco. I'm just going to begin to buff that into the crease. And then what I like to do to really blend the colors is I like to switch it like this. That way the bristles start spreading the color towards the top while blending them at the same time. Now that we're done with blending, we're going to go ahead and cut the crease. I haven't actually cut like my whole lid in a while. I'm so used to doing half cut creases. So when I did this, I was like, whoa, whoa there. Let me take me. And of course, you guys, I always like to tug my eye just so I can get that extra precise, sharp cut line. Everybody always asks me how I get such a sharp line. And honestly, this is how. I kind of made the circle a little bit bigger than this one, but that's completely fine. The eyelashes cover any little mistakes that you make. No one has to know. So moving on to this palette, I'm going to be taking this color right here. And since we used concealer to carve out the crease, it's going to act as a base. And I feel like it makes the eyeshadow pop out more. So I'm going to once again tug the lid. Do you guys see how pigmented that is? It's just like crazy. Using a flat brush for this is honestly the best. So all we're going to be using is this liner right here. This is by Makeup Geek in the shade Mint. This is my favorite color, if you guys did not know. And I'm just going to buff that on the lower lash line. And you're gonna wanna make it kind of thick because we're gonna set it with shadow and that's gonna make it stick. And then do the waterline. Perfecto. Now I'm gonna do my eyeliner. And you guys have seen me do my eyeliner multiple times on camera. I'm gonna try, every single time I try to do my eyeliner on camera, it does not come out good. So I'm gonna do it off camera and I'll be right so I just finished doing my liner and now I'm going to pop on these falsies. These are the Queen Bee Lashes by Coco Lashes. I haven't used these in forever. So now that we're done with the eyes, I'm going to go back to my face and for highlight, I'm going to be using this one by Makeup Forever in the shade 02. Going in with a Morphe M501. And then I'm just going to quickly spray that with Fix Plus. And let's see how this turns out. Yeah. Yeah. I like it, but it's. I think it's better with my sleek palette. This is what I get for betraying my sleek palette. It's just like, how dare you betray me? That's the glow we were going for. Oh wow, I feel like these two together, like it's like heaven. Oh, I'm so shook. Okay, going back in with that Makeup Forever one. I like to go ham, you guys. Oh yeah. 
Oh wow. That's the kind of glow I look for. And it's okay if you have that like harsh line once you add Fix Plus. I feel like it melts it all together. I'm gonna add some of the brow bone. Anywhere I can add highlight to, I'm with it. Sometimes I add highlight on my ear. It is what it is. I'm gonna give you guys a 360 of the highlighter right now because it's like, it's intense. So to blend the two together, I'm going in with, of course, Voluminoso by Milani. A little bit of blush. Adding that to the apples of my cheeks and then blending the two together. Now that you added that blush, it mixes the two together and it makes it look more natural. Now we're gonna move on to lips. And honestly, you guys, you can do whatever lip you want with this. You can do like a peachy nude lip, make it go with the lid. You can go with like a dusty mauve rose. I'm just gonna go ahead and go in with gloss because I feel like for the springtime, I like to go in with something that makes my lips look a bit more hydrating instead of being, looking dry, you know? For the lips, I wanted to do something super peachy and nudey. I feel like it would go perfect with this eye look and it would complement the turquoise teal under the eyes. So I'm first gonna line my lips with this Jordana lip liner just to make sure our lips are looking super nice. If I'm using a lighter color on my lips, I like to go with a darker lip liner. So now that my lips are lined, I'm going in with this lipstick by Dose of Colors in the shade Posy. And I love it because it's like the perfect nude. Now I'm grabbing this lip pencil and I'm just going to help blend the two. So now that we are done with the whole face, I'm going to melt all the products into the face with my MAC Fix Plus. Ooh. To set my face, I'm using the Milani Make a Dewy Setting Spray and this is literally going to make your face look 10 times dewier. So as you guys can tell, that definitely made my face look 10 times dewier. Adding that setting spray, I feel like definitely completes the whole look because it is springtime. You want to look healthy and glowy and alive. You don't want to look cakey or powdery or any of that stuff. So that completes today's look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, do not forget to tag me if you recreate the look because I would love to retweet it, like it, screenshot it, all that good stuff. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.